And we are once again back. With me adjusting my headset and getting ready to play some more Crazy Awesome Don't Starve. Oh man. It's so quiet. So wonky, so crazy. So, I actually ended up going and doing another Don't Start recording, because uh, one of my followers was asking how come I haven't been doing any more. So, I decided, eh, I haven't played in a while, some new updates have come on out, the game was always fun and enjoyable to play, eh, might as well. <laughs> so, if there's anything you want me to go and play, or some other videos, or some other series that I've done before you want me to relive or rehash or try something new, uh, don't hesitate to leave me a note, and I'll see what I can do about it. Because, uh, once again, I mean, there's just so many different things I could work on, I could do, that I could play. Sometimes I just go and do recordings of stuff that I've done in the past, or am currently playing and enjoying. Like, been doing a ton of, uh, a ton of hawking stuff recently. Just because, you know, my roommate plays it, and I find it enjoyable and fun, and it's, uh, it's a pretty cool game. And so I've just been doing some recordings of that when I've actually had time. That's a terrible sound. Oh, man. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, just been kind of going recording when I actually do get some time available. I've just been super busy with work. Let's see. Now we pick it silly when he notices he has lost his head monitor. <laughs> awesome. That's not good. Rundown house? Hmm. Never seen that before. Wow, this is huge giant swamp island. Oh no! Yeah, so you want to keep away from those things. Ah! Ah, that's bad! Ah, oh, poor little Chester. And great. Cool. <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. I needed it to start raining too. Alright, let me look at my map. So, I came this way. I went this route. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of hug this area. Let's see what I can find. Uh, I don't have any reeds yet. You can use reed to create yourself paper. Um, in my previous play playthroughs, I actually really haven't found a lot of stuff to use with paper, so... Eh, might as well collect it. Put in my Chester dude when I get enough of it, or if I need to store some additional room. Actually, you know what? Let me try this. Um, no. No. I was actually planning on trying to go and break down those houses. I think I need a hammer. Ooh, there we go. Yes. Lightning is great for this character. Any other character, I get my ass seriously kicked with that, I think. Ah, starting to go insane. Okay, so... I'm not taking too terribly much damage. Oh, look at my insanity, he's down at 39. I think because me actually getting hit by that lightning decreased my insanity a ton, too. So you kind of see that on the outside of the circle, it's trying to get a little wavy. And I think that I'll start seeing some other craziness, too. It's, okay, so here's a circle. And this is a blue mushroom. I wonder if there's anything that actually pops up there at night. <laughs> ah, I need to get out of this swamp. Well, at least I get to move super fast. Essentially the equivalent of running on a on a road at all times. Are you kidding me? There's nothing here. Serious sucks. Ah. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, that seeds. That's gonna be food. Oh, cool, more swamp. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Let me try this. <laughs> Mosquitoes follow me. Yeah, those guys are pests. Also, using the space bar to attack these is actually pretty useful because those mosquitoes kind of move around you pretty quickly. 
and because of that they can be kind of hard to target, but just holding down the space bar, they'll just randomly just go and attack the mosquitoes and take care of that for you to get swarmed. So that's my torch. Okay, it's down at 31. Wow, this might actually be a really, really short game. Let me see. Alright, let me zoom out just a little bit. So I have an explorer to the southwest. Let me see if I can find these flowers. Coldmore Swamp. Okay, let's just go right through the swamp. Oh shit, it's a werepig. <laughs> Actually that looked like a, a merman dude. Alright, let me let me go and get out of here. This is not working out for me. My sandy is shriveling up. So what I need to do is I need to get one of these these light biomes. So this is like a dark forest biome. Flowers don't usually actually can be found here. They usually are found in the forest areas. So let me look over here. Um, that looks like forest. This looks like that looks like more like my starting area. Hmm. Seeds are actually also great, uh, as you know. The birds just randomly go and drop them. But seeds are great because they allow you to, um, when you actually go and get the little farm areas, plots of land, um, gardens, they allow you to uh, plant like vegetables and stuff. Right now I'm just using it for eating purposes. Yeah. But... I think it's getting to the time where I just need to go and create a... I just need to create a base. So let's go west. And do I have an additional torch? I don't think so. I'm gonna make myself another light. Get ready to just mount up. Um, I'm gonna drop the cube right here. <laughs> I don't even know where to go right now. Oh, I guess I'll explore this little area to the west. That's not what I like to see. Uh, Alright, flowers. When you start seeing those uh, enemies off in the distance, that means that they're about to attack it. So let me think. What do I need to do? Let me drop this torch real quick. Flower. That up. Yes, slowly, slowly but surely receding. Frog, give it up. Alright, I'm at 60 now. <sighs> ah, 
That's a close one. Alright, now let's see. Where did my dude go? I don't know. Did I lose my buddy? Alright, so let's see. I think I'm going to make my base right around here. Close to all these guys. It's close to a road. I'm kind of worried about when the hounds attack me, but I don't think I can really do anything about that now. I haven't found a pick village yet. Alright, there's my insanity. Here's my manure. Okay. So let's see, I should have ample food around here. I have manure down here. I believe... Oh man, what am I going to have to do? Let me try... Oh, this is bad. I don't really see a lot of other areas. I've done a pretty good job of uh, running through everything. I mean, I doubt that there's just a random pig village right here. There's always a road leading into a pig village. And there's nothing here. Alright, let me make it here. Oops. My bad. Alright. So with that being said, let's get this started. Yeah, there's even some stuff right there. Okay. Ah. Uh, I put all my stuff in Chester. And I have no idea where my little buddy is right now. Probably died. Okay, let's get it going. Science machine, you are going to go right here. So that's my science machine. With that being said, time to create myself a fire pit. Okay, so make myself some additional tools. Make myself a shovel. And the other thing that I need is not a hay wall, but I need a backpack. So where'd that go? Let's drop my grass dirt. Pick my backpack. There we go. Now I have additional storage space. Now, other things that I need to make are structures, spikes, no, food, no, fine, okay, I need to make myself some, I need more wood, because what I need to do now is make myself some chests, now check it out, I think it's actually getting to be like considered more summer, because the nights are actually shorter, and twilight's actually shorter, I guess it kind of is built to make it so it gives you some more time to kind of get things situated and started up. Alright. Now, as you notice, I got myself a shovel. And that allows you to pretty much, after you go and chop down a tree, it uh, gives you the opportunity to dig up, what is it, I guess the, the trunk of it? And the thing is that once you get down a tree, it's not going to grow anything else. The, it just is there dead, taking up room. And they usually drop a couple pine cones, and I use those to, to plant more additional trees. So, mushrooms, as I was talking about before. You have red mushrooms, which reduce your insanity to so make you more insane. And then you have the blue mushrooms, which make you more sane, or I guess green. With that being said, make myself another axe. Uh, like in that circumstance where I was kind of getting really, really close to going insane and starting to see strange creatures and animals and stuff like that, and uh, the hares actually go and they turn into dust, like dust bunnies, and they drop some uh, additional items allow you to make magic items. With that, I could have picked up some of those. I think they actually increase your sanity by 30, so quite a bit. Okay. 
So, now that I actually have my shovel, and I'm good to go with that, uh, I'm actually going through and, um, <laughs> what is it? I'm picking up these grass tufts. And also, I'm going to pick up these twigs as well and replant these over my home base. And these berry bushes. Getting myself situated to create myself a home base. And what I'll have to do is I'll have to make my own uh, pig dens for defense. You can actually go and create pig houses, and I think it just takes a couple days for them to actually start populating. But, eh, oh well. Nothing I can do about that. So I have a full torch, and that'll last me the entire night. Let me cut these guys on down. Take a delicious swig of beer. That's right, I record while drinking. Now you can't actually go and use like the shovel or anything like that while it's night time, so I'll just head back to base right now and start planning stuff. Let's see, can I do it? Yes, I got one more. Now on the map, when you've gone and actually put down a campsite and stuff like that, you can actually see it, so you you can still travel to your location at night. So I'll head on over there and let's see. Let me feed it. Nice. So that's my grass skirt. I'll pick that up, put that in there, and let me refine some stuff. I need to make some boards. Get myself some rope. And hold on. Wood wall, sign, chest. I need to make one of those. I usually go and place these on the right. And I'll just put stuff in there that I'm not going to use for a long, long time. Like that. Uh, when I need the gold, I'll just go ahead and drop it on in. Uh, let's see what else. Put this guy in there. Put that over there. Seeds. Oh, I'll place them there for now. Um, also, whenever you see like the green and the color coordinations that you see right there, that's essentially letting you know that uh, those things expire, meaning that uh, <coughs> they will actually become yellow, <laughs> and then become red, and then actually rot. So that's just kind of like letting you know how fresh it is. If it's green, it actually acts and uh, does a better job than if it's you know, yellow or red. So just like its freshness value. Uh, since I'm going and cutting up a whole crap load of trees, I'm going to plant some more trees. Drop the torch. I'll store that for later. And once again, whenever I'm coming across these things right now, I'm just picking it on up. And I still need a ton of wood. As you saw, that took, what, three boards of wood? And I think to make each board of wood, it actually cost me uh, four logs. So it ends up being quite expensive to make them. Let's see. Fuel preserves as well. Let me get some food. Alright, very nice. Get my shovel over here. Also, one of the other things I'm going to need to do right away is because I don't actually, I never actually found a pig village. So because of that, I'm going to get attacked probably tonight or the next day. And... Oh, she's starting to hear some sounds now. I'll probably get attacked the next day or so, so I'll have to just fight them off on my own. That's no good. There we go. Also, these uh, <laughs> these branches, or whatever, these trees that have just completely killed themselves and are dead, 
they'll eventually spawn into smaller trees, and if I kill them right there, I think all they'll drop is a pine cone, so it's not really worth it. So usually just leave it alone for now. Alright. Let me go over here, and what I want to do right now is pick up all these bushes. Because those need to be planted as soon as possible. So that's kind of my goal for the day, is get all these bushes and plant as much stuff as possible, and I'm going to need to go and pick up a whole buttload of manure. Is that fine? Now these guys, I'm going to have to worry about that later, and uh, start getting myself set up with honey. Now I already have myself a spear. I think I just randomly found that, if I remember correctly. So I'll need to go and get myself a suit and take all those out. Now when you actually go and attack those, a whole bunch of super angry bees come on out. And uh, I think... I used to know how to do a pretty good job of actually either avoiding them or you can put something on down and make it so that they just don't bother you. They get distracted. Also, you, if you have a pig friend, if you have a pig dude, you can feed him meat and he'll follow you around. And so you can essentially <laughs> attack one of those and let your pig dude sacrifice himself by trying to kill him. And uh, use that as a method. And then uh, I think once you have the science machine and the additional upgrade, which is what the alchemy engine, you can use that to uh, to create yourself a your own little bee nest. And start farming the honey for yourself. There we go. All right, avoid those guys. Oh, come on, what do you mean? Okay. Now with these guys, let me do this. If I put this down here and set myself up with this, he should come over here. Ah! <laughs> I wasted it. Whatever. So that being said, let me plant these guys. Ah, wrong button. Plant. Now the computer can do a super awesome job of planting these all super close and perfect, and it makes it a lot more difficult to do it yourself. Um, let me get this, just so I can get it out of the way. Myself a new shovel. Alright, now let me plant all my saplings. It's here. Now, if you put your mouse slightly off screen, as you saw me do right there, <laughs> pretty much essentially when he goes and he plants it, uh, it puts yourself in a good position for the next like, round to plant the next part of them. So let me see, do that there. Slightly off. There, there. Eh. Not as clean as I'd like, but whatever. So now that I've done that, I need to fertilize. Ah, crap. As you see, they go from being the brown into actually being the berry color that I'm looking for. So let's see, I have a torch. Got my shovel on me. Let me switch this on over to. Where, where? There we go, this guy. Now I need a whole bunch of manure. So I'm actually going to go and mine the manure while they're sleeping at night. I'm getting ready with my torch. Sweet, sweet manure. Nope. Let me make myself another torch just in case. <laughs> I 
It being dark, it actually makes it a little difficult to see all the manure. But that's okay. And that's going to be where that mythical creature is. No. <sighs> ah, I guess I'll explore a bit. Ah, shit, 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 shit. There we go. Get ready with my next one. Might as well collect all the items that I possibly can. Let me see. I am going to mine all this stuff real quick. Sounds like it's gonna strain springtime. A lot of wind in the air, things of that nature. Now what I'm really after right now is gold. Because I don't really have all that much. I think I have enough for one more machine. And I think I probably need about ten more total. Now I'm not too worried about it because if you guys remember earlier, and if I looked at the map real quick, there's a whole bunch like north of me. But I also have to just go and spend an entire day mining it all. And there we go, there's a pick. Rather just find a bunch right now. Take care of it. And I also found my graveyard. That'd be a pretty good thing to go do. Now let me see. I want myself a hat. Hmm. Hey, there's my Chester dude. He's all the way down here. What's he doing without me? Ah, he missed me. <laughs> Knowing him, he probably just got stuck on something down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. In the past, it used to go straight just into winter at around day 14 or so, so... It looks like now they switched it on up to make it so it goes into probably fall and like winter time. Or not winter time, but um, rain season. I'll have to create a little machine that actually tells me what season it is and what's likely to happen next. Nice, 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 nice. Nice little pickaxe. Being close to them kind of makes them a, a little upset and annoyed. As long as you don't attack them, they just sort of kind of go, what's going on? I think that if you stay around them too long, you're kind of in their territory for maybe about 5-10 seconds, then they'll start charging you and attacking you. But for right now, I'm okay. So I'll have to come back over to this area and lay a bunch of traps so I can get myself some delicious, delicious hair meat. Let me see. There, I can get that bush and that bush. So I have myself 12 pieces of manure, and I'll get more later. But right now I want to go and finish up my planting. There's my shovel. There we go. Now, twigs are also always good to have, as well as grass. Grass, you can actually turn the grass into rope. And carrying grass. You take all my wants. So you can turn grass into rope, and you can use the rope to actually fuel your fire, which does a pretty good job. It used to actually be enough to make it so that you could actually last the entire night just on one piece of rope. And I think they removed it. I think now the equivalent is making a board. I think the board kind of goes and uh, does a pretty good job of making your fire super huge and giant to last yourself the entire night. But... It's still like, it's one of those things that's super easy to go and create more of. Uh, once you plant the grass, I think every couple of days it actually creates more. So that's a good thing to have. Now let's see. Uh, I 
got that one, I got that one. There's one more bush over there. And even though it's pretty close, I'd rather just kind of keep it all together. So let me pick it up real quick. Nice. Okay. Now it's time for planting. Wow, it just really does not want to plant. I wonder if it's because it's <laughs> on the verge of another biome and it doesn't want it doesn't like that. Okay, give me some more bushes. Need fertilize. Almost, almost out of those. Plant that. Ah! Sometimes it's the this is the right button messes me up. Okay. Getting hungry. So got that. Let's fertilize just a few more of those. And Chester. Give me all these. Go, go, go. Nice. Let's see. Pick this on up. I have more saplings right here that I can plant. Let's see. No, 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 no. Get a different angle. And out of those, okay. It's almost night time, so let me use a rope. Nice. And the other thing you can do is cook your food. Cooking your food actually makes it a lot more potent. So with that, cook that, put that on down, and drop off Chester. Put him on machine. Pitchfork, no, Razor, no. Razor's good for Wilson because he has a beard. Campfire, no, I don't need that. Miner hat, let's see what else I can make. I'll make myself a trap. I'll use that for later. Now, the one thing is, is that once you actually create these things, you don't actually need to go back to your science machine to make it again in the future. Uh, there we go. Now, I don't need stone right now, so I'm just going to put it in here. And, let me see. Stone. Stone. Place this away. <sighs> Bring along Chester. Come on, Chester. You take my flint. And you also take some of my rocks, because I don't need those right now. You know what? Also, you my nitrate. So, it's now day 9, and I haven't been attacked by any hounds yet, which is pretty cool. So, they must have gone and increased that. I do need those. I need some silk to make myself a fishing pole. Let's take that. I'm actually heading over in this direction because I do remember that there was a whole bunch of carrots. Carrots are sort of just a one-off, very, very good food supply. So, there we are. 
So I'll pick those on up. I'll eat those because my <laughs> I'm getting a little hungry right now. And use that to replenish myself. I'm gonna plant these guys. Let me see. Anything else that I'm missing? Nope. Alright, I'm going to go back. Plant what I have. Cook the carrots, because I want the extra boost of having it cooked. And let me see. Aha! You know what? Let's use one of these. There we go. Eat, eat. Yeah, did alright. So let me see. Let me plant these guys. Alright, time to get struck by lightning. Go do a bit more exploring. Got these guys. So that's pretty cool. There's actually a bunch of places I can set traps right here. Now, see like right between these two areas, where there's actually <laughs> two of them? Um, I don't usually have to go in oversaturated areas, so uh, I'll put like one right between. That means I'll increase my likelihood that both of them will actually hit it. So let me make my selection or something. Whenever I come across these, might as well just go and pick one up. Now to make the traps, I think, if you guys were noticing, it takes six pieces of grass and I think three twigs. Double check that. Four twigs. So that means I'm very, very heavy on the twig needs, or whatever the grass needs. So want to go and get as much of that grass as possible to have your home base. Sweet. And then you can also use, if you have too much, you know, twigs, you can also use that as, uh, firewood as well. Okay, I need food. Everything just uses up so much food for everything. Oh, man. That. Very nice. Alright, there's a bunch of bushes up here. So let me get this. See if I can hold out for night time and cook all those carrots. Just get all these berry bushes real quick. Probably get those and then head on back. Pick up all those damn carrots. One of the other things that I'm going to need to make pretty soon is let's see, not refine. 
Don't need that. I need an ice box. Bird trap. See, I need silk for a bird trap. So you can actually lay down a seed, and that'll, uh... Ah, a compass. Huh. Healing salve, straw roll, umbrella. I need pigskin for that. Bug net. And fishing rod. Huh. Nope. None of my other traps bore fruit. Also, if you leave your traps out there for a long period of time, um, it'll catch something, but it'll get out, and so it'll still go and use up the, the health of it. Meaning that, like, your stuff won't uh, last all that long. It, it, your, its durability will go down. So you gotta kinda be careful about that. If you go and you play down, put down traps, you don't want to go and, like, leave it without it for a long period of time. You want to go and check up on them, like, you know, maybe once every two or three days. Let's see if I can do a good job planting. So there we go. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, shit. No! Ah, oh, I couldn't equip it. Oh, no. Oh. It equipped it. It didn't use it. Oh, man. All right. Well, there goes that situation. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to go and try it again.